cameras are super overrated and very expensive and you can film your youtube videos with just your iphone if that's something you're interested in learning how to do then definitely do keep on watching <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hey, hello, hi. I am Soma and I'm a beauty, fashion, lifestyle related content creator and a technology expert. So definitely do consider subscribing to my channel. And if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> In this video, basically, I want to talk about how to film high quality YouTube videos with just your iPhone. Now that sounds like an interesting topic. So yeah, cameras are super expensive. And as a beginner, I want to believe that a camera is not on your budget. I definitely do believe a camera should not be on your budget as a beginner content creator or a beginner YouTuber. Now, if you have an iPhone, if you have an Android, then yes and yes definitely you can film your youtube videos with just your iphone we'll basically talk about the things you need to have to film youtube videos with your iphone that's the accessories and we'll talk about the things that you need to do to film youtube videos with just your iphone and that's the settings so basically we'll be talking about accessories and then settings cool yeah let's get right into it if you're filming your youtube videos with just your iphone i would highly 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 recommend that you use um from six and above i want to believe that you're not using a five and you want to film youtube videos i don't know how that's gonna work out i don't think i've ever held an iphone 5 just definitely do make sure that you are using like a higher model of an iPhone if you can if you have a 5 and then you have a 7 do use the 7 so just to show you guys what I mean in perspective I really like to put things into perspective so this is me filming with an 8 plus this is basically how I look filming with an 8 plus and so guys this is what it looks like when I'm filming with an iPhone XR you can see that like the quality is like way much better and the resolution and everything so yeah the higher you know you go on the iPhone models the better your quality looks so guys when filming with your iPhone you need to make sure that you have a very good source of light because who that is actually very 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 important uh, if you're a beginner and you don't have enough money to afford ring lights soft boxes led lights and all of that good stuff you can always film in front of a window you can always film with direct sunlight this is the window this is you window you window you window you window me <laughs> Although I would really suggest you actually mark your filming hours <laughs> because lights can actually, natural light is not reliable. You can literally be filming this video and then it's about to rain and the weather just changes and it goes dark. <laughs> Guys, being a content creator is so much struggle. So you need to map out an exact time to film when you're using natural lights because it's not always there, okay? But if you're using artificial lights, if you can afford a ring light or soft boxes or any of the above, then you can definitely film any time of the day. It's basically 8 p.m. right now and I am filming and that's because I have artificial sources of light, I have ring lights, I have soft boxes and that's why I'm able to film at this point. So as a beginner, I would recommend you get soft boxes i feel like that is the perfect 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 light sauce for beginners so if you're a beginner if you can get soft boxes then definitely do get soft box h i recommend you get two though one here one here you know light baby 
loads of light coming and if you can definitely just get a ring light to complement it just to give you that glow okay yeah i will leave the links in the description box down below of where you can get soft boxes and where you can get ring lights both from the amazon store and if you're in nigeria from a nigerian instagram page so if you can really see me the license is good the quality is good but you can't hear me i doubt you keep watching that video i feel like you're gonna exit Sometimes when you know a deep enough, sometimes when I can't hear a YouTuber or something like that, or there's noise in the background, I basically just exit that video because, honey, sound is important. I don't know how to say it. I don't know how else to say it, but sound is super, super, super important. Like, very important, guys. Very, very important, okay? So make sure to film in quiet places. You don't want to film in a market square you honestly do not want to film who does that so if you live in the metropolis you know business areas in your city where everyone's always hustling and bustling basically you need to find this time when it's not happening to film because I don't want to hear that noise but if you're a beginner and you don't have ring lights and you don't have soft boxes you know i would recommend if you live in the metropolis that you film at night because obviously i mean that shouldn't be happening at night but if you don't have ring lights and soft boxes then you are doomed to film during the day so how can we make this better i would literally recommend that you film your video during the day and then record the audio at night okay so one good rule is watch the video as you're recording the audio so as you're watching the video you're recording your audio and everything is in sync it would be weird if it's hey <laughs> come on no guys no if you're a beginner and if you can definitely do get an iphone lapel mic or an android lapel mic depends on which phone you're using okay and yeah it's not that expensive it's basically inexpensive if you ask me it retails for about nine thousand naira i don't know i'll leave the dollar amount on the screen so i got mine for nine thousand naira and i think it's about that range too so you can definitely get a mic just to make yourself more audible to what it does is to kind of cancel background noises and it keeps you in focus okay so basically it just keeps your voice in focus yeah my mic is plugged in my mic is plugged in right now and this is how i sound my mic plugged in so you can basically notice a difference with the background so let's get into the next one yeah background oh my god like your background is actually very 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 important when you're filming youtube videos now this is basically because i mean if i'm watching something you know my eyes get attracted and my eyes could get unattracted so you basically want to keep your viewers attention you want them to be attracted to everything happening you want them to be attracted to the quality to you and definitely to your background so basically just make your background aesthetically pleasing make your background plain you know just nothing that will distract them. so yeah if you're using your iphone to film i want to believe that you're a beginner okay so and you need a script okay we really don't want you talking gibberish i don't want to watch a 15 minutes long video that could actually be said in five minutes just because you tend to just lose focus of what you're talking about i mean you could basically be talking to your viewers about this particular thing and then it just connects with this particular thing and you're talking about this particular thing whereas you're not meant to talk about it so that is why you should get a script i mean almost every youtuber even professional youtubers definitely use scripts so it would be really important to just get yourself a script so guys let's go over to the second part the settings the things you need to do to make sure that you film high quality youtube videos so now the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to your settings you want to go over to your settings to your camera settings yep so 
when you're in your camera settings you definitely want to make sure that you go over to record videos and you choose the highest quality possible so there's 720p 180p there's 180p at 30 frames per second 180p at 60 frames per second there's 4k at 24 frames per second 4k at 30 frames per second and 4k at 60 frames per second so definitely 4k at 60 frames per second is the highest so you want to choose 4k at 60 frames per second so yeah now that that's done basically you want to go over to your camera you make sure to clean your lenses you want to clean your camera lenses to make it look a whole lot better so guys these are all of the things that you should do to film high quality youtube videos with just your iphone now if you enjoyed this video definitely do give it a thumbs up and definitely do consider subscribing to the channel and leave a comment down below on some of your questions any questions you have at all i'm here to answer it i got you I got y'all okay so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye